Will DJI end the world as we know it with the latest firmware update? If you haven't seen it already in the different Facebook groups and uh, forums, you must have been living under a rock. Because everybody is pretty upset about the latest initiative from DJI. DJI wrote us last week that they will be changing the process for activation and uh, firmware updates. This means that we all are going to be booted for DJI's uh, servers and forced to log in again and comply with the new rules. If you refuse to comply with the new rules, this means that the DJI will limit the functionality of your aircraft. You will only be able to fly 50 meters away in a radius of 50 meters, altitude of 30 meters, and they will also cut uh, the live feed from the camera. This will practically uh, render the Mavic useless. You will have to stay connected to the internet during the activation process to get the latest geospatial information and you have to agree to the local rules to unlock the full potential of uh, your Mavic. This applies to both the DJI GO and the DJI GO 4 app and uh, also applies to almost the complete fleet of DJI products. I will leave a link in the description to the original uh, press release so you can see all the details from that. What will this mean to us? Uh, we will not know until the firmware arrives later this week. But personally, I don't think that the majority of us will feel uh, much difference, apart from that we have to comply to this, uh, these uh, local rules every time they get updated or if we go to a different region. I can see how this can generate a bit of a big brother feeling that the DJI wants to control our behavior. But uh, it's um, an illusion to think that they don't know that already because they are logging all sorts of information from this aircraft, including home point, uh, etc., etc. So I think it's just more obvious now what's going on uh, instead of they're doing it uh, behind the scenes. I can see two main reasons for DJI doing this. Primarily, I would say it's uh, to protect the brands. There has been a lot of recreational flyers that have been doing some really stupid things uh, lately. And they want to uh, make sure that the pilot takes uh, full responsibility for what they're doing with the aircraft. Then nothing can be uh, led back to, uh, to DJI. Secondary, I think it's uh, a way for DJI to try and prevent uh, DJI products from being uh, banned as uh, legislations are being restricted all over the world for recreational flyers. So I think this is just an, is an initiative for them to try and also to protect the, the brand in different countries. I don't think it is, it is as bad as it sounds once we get used to it. Uh, my initial uh, impression was uh, pretty skeptical and I was thinking, what, uh, what, uh, what are you doing DJI? This cannot be uh, good for, for anybody. But uh, let's see how it turns out once uh, we get used to the new uh, firmware. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this uh, new feature from uh, DJI and how it will influence uh, your daily flying. Let me finish off this video by saying that uh, if you're new to this channel, we are uploading drone and email related material that will help you get the best out of your equipment. So press the like button below, subscribe, and see you on the other side of DJI's new firmware.